Yeah, I'm here at this uh, Metro Mart where the uh, where the lady flipped her her car. A couple weeks ago, she did a, uh, a somersault across the gas pumps. You can see they got fires, fire extinguishers <laughs> on all the gas pumps now. She uh, she ran through the intersection. And uh, instead of hitting the brakes, she hit the gas and went flying through the, the gas station, through the gas pumps, and uh, almost killed several people, including, including herself. Her car went airborne and uh, flipped onto... Uh, the other island, after it went through the gas pumps, tore them completely out of the ground. And uh, it, it's a miracle. Miracle nobody, nobody died. It's called the Metro Mart. And uh, I, I interviewed the, uh, one of the workers here yesterday. His name is Saruk and uh, he told me flat out he believes this is a mind control event. <laughs> and uh, get our little, our little Dodge truck pulling up here. The Dodge Ram truck. And then right behind the gas station We have another Dodge Ram, a uh, big photograph on the side of a trailer. We're, we're dealing with Satanists here, folks, and people need to wake up. All this shit going on in our sky. And the old ram sitting right behind the gas station. But, uh. No, I'm just okay. waiting for some. I'm gonna lost. <laughs> but, uh. It, it, it's, it's important that we get your story. So, so what, what is your, your first name? Doruk. Are you recording me now? Well, a little bit. Yeah. So you said Saruk. Yes, Saruk. So you work you work here at Metro Mart. Yes, I do work at Metro Mart. Uh, Metro Mart. And we for six years. Yeah. And we had this car that we ran. Had, uh, not too long ago, almost like uh, two two weeks ago, one of the lady while she was entering this place, uh, instead of the brake pedal, she hit the gas pedal. Hit the gas pedal. Yeah, and then she hit the pump so fast, and she got so injurious damage and the ambulance took her to the hospital so she hit she hit the gas pedal instead of the brakes instead of the brake pedal. and went flying through through the gas station I, I i have a video of it of what happened yeah when flying through the gas pumps flipped her car uh, into the air over the, over the gas island and onto another car yeah and and totally totally destroyed it so just in your opinion do you think this was a mind control event it could be do you, what do you think? It could be. Can you pause? Because, like, I hesitate. Well, um, she told me she put it in. She gave you some free stuff, so I'm trying to see what she put it in. So, just really quickly, do you think this was this was mind control? Your personal it, opinion. Your it, personal opinion. It could happen. It, it 
could be. I really don't know what was behind that. Do you, do you think it was? I, again, in the past I've, I've searched no, documentaries about mind control and I believe in that. You, you believe that the, this was a mind control event? It could be, like I'm not like 100% sure. But, like, but do you think it was? Your personal opinion? My personal opinion, it was, yeah. It was, okay. Thank you. Uh, they do one round of spraying and then another round and then another round it just never stops This is why they want me out of here. I keep documenting their crimes. That's why they put uh, 5G antennas in front of my apartment. That's why they bomb me with frequencies nonstop. Yeah, they're laying them side by side over there. There's a new one going up right there. You can see where he stops, stops and starts. <laughs> where they're changing, uh, changing canisters or some shit. You can see the line clearly. He starts and stops. And these are all uh, remote controlled aircraft doing this. And they block off corridors. They'll spray this, they'll bomb the fuck out of this area. And they'll keep all the commercial traffic out of here for an hour or two. And then they'll go bomb another quadrant. Keep the traffic out of that area. It's the biggest fucking crime against humanity ever, ever to be perpetrated on the American people. It'll just be a complete overcast sea of chemicals. Just like that, like what you're seeing right here in the horizon. It'll just turn to that. We won't even have a little bit of blue sky left, a little bit of patch that they haven't totally destroyed with their chemicals. It'll be all like that. It's like, like a Martian landscape. It's what they create for us every fucking day here. It's unbelievable. People run and hide in their houses. They see me out here filming. They know, they know I'm the only one who got some fucking guts around here. Well, they got three of them going up now. <laughs> you know, and I don't really think that these are planes. Oh, there she is again. I don't really think these are planes. I think it's satellite based uh, lasers that are laying their shit down because they can just do it anywhere, anytime. And they, they can't get planes to do that. It's like they can just paint the sky. It's like they're just painting the sky. It's exactly what they're doing. They paint it and they can't do this with planes. 
They're doing this with some sort of chemical lasers. They beam the shit up to their mirrors in space and back down on us anywhere in the world. That's why this shit's happening everywhere, all over the world. And it's, it's from a centralized location. It doesn't take very, very many evil men to perpetrate this kind of evil on the world if they have the technology and the resources that we certainly don't have. Maybe we'll get we'll get a four a four street going here soon. I don't even talk to my neighbors anymore. They're so gutless and mind controlled. I don't even talk to them. They ain't worth they ain't worth a breath. <laughs> they see this shit and they don't say one peep. Not a word. You run and hide. Well, I think I filmed enough poison for a for a day. Yeah, we got our gas station right over there. The Metro Mart. And then we got our stop and shop over here. And we have our 5G antenna right there. Isn't that, isn't that special? Yeah, I met with Farouk, uh, Sarouk, excuse me. We, we chatted for about a minute, a little bit over a, a couple of minutes, a few minutes, because I no sooner started talking to him and the mind control started going, going crazy. I mean, you started getting uh, people coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> and that's, that's what they can do with this mind control. They can... They can mob you. You go to a restaurant, it's dead quiet. All of a sudden you, you go in there and, and a million people start showing up. And you have to wait half an hour for your order. <laughs> this is just, uh, this is what they could do with this mind control, folks. So we got, a, we got a few minutes to talk. And he told me clearly he thought this was a mind control event. Your 5G right there, folks. This is military grade technology. And they, uh, they piggyback off of this, uh, these uh, frequencies that are put out by this, these military antennas, and that's exactly what they are. It's five, 5G. Five millimeter technology that goes right it right through everything. It goes right through everything. And your brain, especially. She was on her cell phone when she went through uh, the gas station. She 
was talking on her cell phone when she uh, did a, uh, a a barrel cart cart loop <laughs> across the gas station. So all I can do is uh, is document this as best I can and uh, put witnesses. He, uh, Saruk was uh, was doing research on mind control as well, like me, <laughs> and that may have been another reason why they targeted uh, that gas station. Of course they had uh, do Dolly the uh, the ram in the back. I mean they have to have their satanic uh, their satanic uh, things in place as well. But uh, yeah, I talked to Saruk. He'd been he's been working here for six years. And he, we, we immediately hit it off. We started talking about it, about what happened, and uh, and he, that's that was his thought too. Immediately, was it was some sort of mind control event? I mean, I have uh, people on my Facebook who have told me who state they've lived there all their life. They've never had a person go flying through the uh, intersection. And uh, do a barrel loop through the through the gas pumps, flip their car, and almost kill several people, including themselves. So this is what they can do with this technology, and they're using it especially on women. Did you, did you know a woman's brain is? A third less the size of a man's. <laughs> I, I, I'm not saying that in any negative way, but people uh, they they know our weaknesses. It's uh, July 20th, 21st, 2017 here on Long Island. As you can see the, uh, the dumping never stops. The mine control never stops. Just pure poison all day. They've been dumping on us. It's just one big fucking dump. They can't stop dumping enough. They're laying, laying more as we just sit here and chat here. You know, I don't even know what to say anymore. There are no words for this insanity. Getting bombed with frequencies in my apartment. It's absolutely horrible. Having to run to the bathroom every five minutes. fucking horrible. It's insane. <laughs> I have I had a job interview this morning and uh, just a just a driving job working for a storage company. Pays pretty well. It's part time. Then we got the Black East coming as we're, as we're moving down here. Yeah. 
That's an interesting hat. <laughs> Army. Yeah. Are they are they Masons? Yeah. Some are. Huh? Some are. The Army? Some people in the Army. Oh. In all the branches, there's some people that are. But I never saw uh, a one like this. A, a hat like this. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Interesting. A, yeah, that is very interesting. I think I think there are a lot more than Masons, though. <laughs> I I think. Uh, because if, if you've ever gone to like a, one of their Masonic lodges, and you look at like the uh, some of the sculptures and the, the artwork on the buildings, you'll see Baphomets. See what? Baphomets. You know what a Baphomet is? It's a satanic symbol. Well, a lot of people say that the Masons are satanic. Yeah. Uh, it's a um, cult. A lot of people say it's a cult. Yeah. I think it is. And they're spraying us with chemicals right here. They're called chemtrails. Every day, everything you see here is uh, chemicals. It's called nano, nano particulates. Nano particulates. It's uh, they call them chemtrails, but uh, it's a mixture. It's here. it's they're called chemtrails. What's that? Huh? Right here. They're spraying chemicals every day. Every I like the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the shirt though. <laughs> What's that? I said I like the shirt though. Yeah. You know that they spray us with chemicals called chemtrails. Oh, I'm all out of cards. Just start watching your sky. You just start to see chem. The airplanes. Fly yep. Mm -hmm. Where do you guys go? Lock and load. I always get my skull visit. It's all chemicals. You see the line? See the blue sky? <laughs> And you see the line above it. Those are all chemicals. They've been dumping on us all all afternoon. And it just settles over the over us like a, a cloud of shit, which is what it is. <laughs> and you especially like to dump on us on uh, Saturday nights. In the summertime, Friday nights, it's getting warm. Everybody's out. Everybody's out on the water at the beach. Doing your stuff. Prime, and prime time and planting. You can see you can see the clear line of demarcation, <laughs> the chemicals in the sky. That ain't natural clouds, folks. It's chemical, chemical toilet clouds. Being being dumped right on top of us. My skull visit at Walmart. I always get a skull visit at Walmart. Why is it?
this is that where that accident happened at the gas station. And you look straight across, <laughs> there's a ram. One of their satanic symbols right there in the parking lot. Hey, these people are Satanists. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so Saruk so uh, said he, he definitely thought this was a mind control event. And he's right. They're mind controlling everything and everyone for the most evil of purposes.